All right, this video will be um, 8 to form K. I'm going to do problem number 7 and then 14 all through 19. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. The first one says Charlene made a square quilt by block or square quilt block by piecing together four congruent isosceles right triangles. The diagonal of the square is six inches. What is the perimeter of the square in Simple's radical form? Um, I, as I look at this, I think this is one that I perhaps forgot to change the answer key for you on Google Classroom. Um, so if you're confused why it's 12 radical 2, um, that will not be our answer. So as we go through this, they put a lot of information in there about it being four congruent isosceles triangles, whatever. The, the bottom line is of the square, the diagonal is six um, inches. Okay, and if it's a square and you cut the square in half, you create 45, 45, 90 triangles. Okay, so this is my hypotenuse. So go to your little table, x, x, x radical 2. And because I have given you um, the hypotenuse, the hypotenuse is 6. So x radical 2 is equal to 6. So if I solve this for x, I divide both sides by radical 2. And my... Uh, value for each one of my legs is going to be 6 over radical 2, 6 over radical 2. So each one of these legs is 6 over radical 2. Now the question was asking for the perimeter in simplest radical form. Well, the perimeter is very simple. It's just the, the sum of all, the, all four um, Side of the triangle. So there's four sides. So you could do one of two things. You could take 6 over radical 2 and add them all up. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat 4 as the fraction 4 over 1. And I'm just going to multiply. I'm choosing 4 because, of course, there's four sides. So I'm taking 6 over radical 2 times 4 over 1, which gives me, uh, again, multiply fractions. You multiply straight across. The numerator, or the top value, becomes 24. And then the denominator is radical 2. So this is a little bit different of an answer than what they gave. Um, if you were to type both of these numbers in your calculator, both the 12 over radical 2 and the, I'm sorry, the 24 over radical 2, if you type that in your calculator, the decimal that you would get if you compare that to 12 radical 2 would be the exact same. Okay, so um, again, this is not the answer I would expect you to get. It would be 24 over radical 2, and I apologize for that. Okay? Uh, moving on here now to number 14. 14 is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Um, so I'm going to make my table for that. X, X radical 3, and 2X. And the part that is actually given to me is opposite of this angle, which this angle is 30, that angle is 90, that has to be 60 degrees. So that is uh, the 8 radical 3 is my long leg. Okay, this is the worst case scenario for you when I give you the long leg because it requires the most amount of algebra to solve. Well, simply divide both sides by radical 3 to solve for x, and they both cancel, which tells me my short leg is 8. So y would be 8. Okay, and then to find the hypotenuse, you take whatever the short leg is, which in this case it is 8, and you multiply it by 2 to get x to be 16. Okay? Uh, number 16, they give you um, the top of a giant slide. It's 30 feet off the ground. The slide rises at a 30 degree angle to the nearest whole foot. What is the distance down the slide? So let's just forget all entirely that we're talking about a slide. They're asking you for that length, okay, in your right triangle. This would be your short leg because it is opposite of 30 degrees. So if I make my right tri or my um, my table... I don't need to know anything about the long leg. That is not relevant to me. I'm given the short leg, which is 30. I want to find the hypotenuse. Well, you take whatever your short leg is, and you multiply it by 2 to get your hypotenuse, or your um, length of the slide in this case. Okay? If you were ever so inclined to know the length down here, it would be 30 radical 3. But they didn't ask for that. You didn't need to find it. They gave you the short leg. They're basically asking you for the hypotenuse. Um, number 17, they're asking you, um, it says the frame of a garage roof is shown at the right. How long is each of the top pieces round to the nearest tenth of a foot? So they're asking you how long is either this piece or this piece. They don't need you to find both. They just want to know one of them. Okay. 
Now, this picture does a poor job here. Um, the angle that is 120 degrees is this entire angle, okay, which um, they kind of, well, here's how you know how much, you can't assume that this line is cutting this angle in half. You cannot do that because I didn't tell you that. You know, you can't assume the contractor built this perfectly. But what I do know is that if this is a right angle, which it is, and this angle is 30, which it's given to me to be, and this whole thing is 120, well, 30 plus 90, subtract that from 180, then that tells you that that has to be 60, therefore that has to be 60. So that's just kind of a, a side note, okay? You can't assume that these are this 120 angle is bisected. You just have to, of course, um, you know, use a little bit of triangle sum theorem there to figure that out. Anyways, um, that's not the question that they're asking. What I'm given, if you, let's, so let's just kind of ignore, um, or focus in rather on just one of these triangles. I don't need to use both triangles to solve this. Um, so in this case, um, I'm given, which would be the long leg because it is opposite of 60. So make your table X, X radical three and two X. And again, I know these are the values, X, X radical three and two X because it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. I'm given in this picture, the long leg, which is the X radical three, which again is your worst case scenario. They're only asking me to find the hypotenuse of that triangle, but unfortunately, I can't go from uh, X radical 3 to 2X. I have to know the short leg. That's the key that unlocks everything. I got to know the short leg before I can do anything else. So, um, in order for me to solve for X, I'm going to divide both sides by radical 3. And again, so I'm going to leave my answer like that. My short leg is 6 over radical 3. Okay? So my short leg is 6 over radical 3, and we're going to leave it at that. To find the hypotenuse, I take whatever the short leg is and multiply it by 2. So it's 2 times, or let's treat it because my I'm dealing with a fraction, so let's treat the 2 as 2 over 1, times 6 over radical 3. Multiply everything straight across, I get 12 over the square root of 3 because 2 times 6 is 12, 1 times radical 3 is radical 3, and they're asking for the answer rounded to the nearest tenth of a foot. If you type this in your calculator, you will get 6.92. So 6.9 is your answer there. Okay? Uh, 18 and 19 are very similar to the ones we had on our um, Form G, and I answered both of those questions on there as well. Um, on there, The links are up there on Google Classroom. Um, and again, as I said in those, your best move is to start with the triangle in which you're given the most information. If I look at this triangle, I don't know anything about any of the side lengths. So I'm not going to start there. I'm going to instead start with this triangle, the 45, 45, 90. So I need to figure out how long A and B are. Well, A and B are going to be the same value because this is an isosceles triangle. So in a 45, 45, 90 triangle, X, X, X radical 2. And let's go ahead and fill in what I know. I'm given the hypotenuse is 12 radical 2. Solve for X, divide both sides by radical 2, cancel, cancel. So both of these lengths are 12. Now, I have all that I need to get this one, this left triangle started. Okay, let me rewrite this so we can read it. A is 12. A is also the short leg, which is good news. It's the 30, 60, 90 triangle, so x, x radical 3, and 2x. My short leg is 12. Well, i got to find C and D. Well, take whatever the short leg is, which is 12, and multiply it by radical 3. That gives you your long leg. And to find the hypotenuse, you take whatever the short leg is and times it by 2, and you get 24 for D. Okay? Lastly, number 19. Again, as I look at this, the triangle now on the right is the triangle in which I know the most information about. So I'm going to start there. That triangle is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So I make my table. X, X radical 3, and 2X. I am given the hypotenuse because it is opposite of the 90 degree angle. So 18 radical 3 is equal to 2x. Now, this is where it gets tough. You haven't seen a lot of algebra like this. Um, what I need to do is I need to divide both sides by 2. 
those cancel. Now, when I do this, only these values do the dividing. The radical 3 just kind of hangs out there. So it actually ends up being 9 radical 3 because 18 divided by 2 is 9. And like I said, the radical 3 is just kind of hanging out there. So your short leg is 9 radical 3. And it's important you put that on the picture, I think, uh, because it helps you see information on this triangle over here. So A, which is the short leg, we said is 9 radical 3. Now, again, you haven't seen a lot, if any, like this. To find the long leg, I take whatever the short leg is. So I'm going to erase this so I have some room to show you what's going on here. Okay, I take whatever the, the short leg was, um, 9 radical 3, and I, that was only the, the quote-unquote x value was right here. I need to multiply that value by the new radical 3. When I do this, 9 times radical 3 times radical 3 gives me 9 times radical 9, because 3 times 3 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3, and 9 times 3 is 27. Okay? So now I have my right triangle completely solved. Now, if I look at my, turn my attention to the triangle here on the left, it is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. If A is 9 radical 3, well then D is 9 radical 3 because if you were to create your table, x, x, x radical 2, um, I was given one leg of 9 radical 3, which means the other leg is also 9 radical 3. And then the hypotenuse becomes whatever the leg was. The leg is 9 radical 3, and I multiply that by a radical 2. Okay, this is your original quote-unquote x, and this is the new radical 2 you multiply it by. When I do that multiplication, I get um, 3 times 2 is 6, so I get 9 radical 6 there for my answer of b. Okay? I hope this helps. Again, if you have any other questions, uh, shoot me an email. <clears throat> if I missed one that you asked, um, please email me and remind me, and I'll be happy to post that video um, as well. Have a great afternoon. I will talk to you guys soon.